You know, they get stuck in a nine to five job. They're making enough money to get by. And what do they do? They just stay there. You're weak minded and you're never going to accomplish your goals because I'm telling you right now. Time to get up, face the day, eat, train, sleep, knowing that you never have to ever think about how you're gonna pay for this, how you're gonna pay for that. Most people know deep down inside is, you know, eating good food is the best scenario. The mentality is what's gonna make things happen. You know, is having that mentality to never give up. 30 years, I've been training pretty much nonstop, every day. I don't miss workouts, I don't miss meals. Rich Piana. Let's dive into the intriguing life of Richard Eugene Piana, the American bodybuilder who left a lasting impact on the world of fitness. Born and raised in sunny Sacramento, California, Richard's journey into bodybuilding was sparked by none other than his mother who was already deeply dedicated to the sport. This familial influence set the stage for what would become a lifelong passion. Now picture this, a young Richard brimming with ambition entered bodybuilding competitions at a tender age. He had a sight set on a lofty goal to become a professional bodybuilder, a dream he chased as he matured into adulthood. However, Richard's personal life wasn't all smooth sailing. He weathered the storm of two marriages and sadly, infidelity reared its head in his first marriage, resulting in a painful divorce. Guilt and shame were his unwelcome companions during this trying period. But then, like the roller coaster of life often goes, Richard entered into an on-again, off-again relationship with the fitness model Chanel Jansen. Their connection was undeniable, even if it meant enduring numerous breakups along the way. In a twist of fate, 2015 saw Richard tying the knot with Icelandic bodybuilder Sarah Haney's Dotier. However, this marriage proved to be short-lived and was eventually annulled. Accusations flew as Richard claimed Sarah had ulterior motives, accusing her of using him for a green card and even stealing his hard-earned money. Betrayal and a shattered trust were the bitter fruits of this union. But amidst the ups and downs of his personal life, Richard had something truly special, an unwavering fan base that admired him for his brutal honesty and openness about his struggles. He wasn't afraid to confront his demons, including his reported battle with opiate addiction. Through it all, Chanel Jansen, his partner at the time of his passing, stood by him, offering steadfast support. The secret to getting big. Well, there isn't much of a secret, sorry. You're weak-minded and you're never going to accomplish your goals because I'm telling you right now, they're taking steroids. They're taking more drugs than me. That's why they're up on the like, No. <laughs> Then came that fateful day on August 7th of 2017. Richard collapsed in his home in Clearwater, Florida, right in the middle of getting a haircut from Chanel. Panic ensued and she immediately dialed 911, desperately attempting CPR. Despite her efforts and the swift arrival of paramedics, it was too late. Richard suffered severe brain damage due to a lack of oxygen and passed away on August 25th, 2017 at the age of 46. The media, always eager for a story, couldn't resist speculating about the cause of Richard's collapse. Some pointed fingers at recreational drug use or foul play, while others linked it to his past struggles with opiate addiction. Chanel vehemently refuted these claims, asserting that Richard had only consumed a high caffeine pre-workout supplement that day. She also revealed that he experienced warning signs like shortness of breath and nausea leading up to the collapse. The autopsy report brought its own set of mysteries. It indicated significant heart disease, with Richard's heart and liver weighing over twice the average for an adult male. Shockingly, it was discovered that he had been using drugs and hormones for an extended period of time. Bodybuilding is a great sport. Put a certain amount of time in that, put time and energy in other things. The mentality is what's going to make things happen. You know, is having that mentality to never give up. You know, you only sleep five hours a night. Well, then sleep four and cook your meals. You know, <laughs> sorry. Time to get up, face the day, eat, train, sleep. We are moving forward. We're going to keep on going. There is no stopping us. So we're going to keep on getting bigger. And eating real food. You know, food is always best. A supplement will never take the place of food. Career.
Piana won the NPC Mr. Teen California competition in 1989. At the age of 18, Piana started a common steroid cycle practice known as Test and DECA that combines testosterone and DECA Jurabolin. In 2014, he stated that due to the dramatic results he achieved with steroids, he got hooked on them. In 1998, he was named NPC Mr. California. He continued to compete on and off for about 25 years, winning NPC championships in the 2003 Los Angeles Super Heavyweight Division, 2009 Sacramento Super Heavyweight Division, and the 2009 Border States Classic Super Heavyweight Division and overall championship. He was featured on the cover of the November 1998 issue of Iron Man magazine and the summer 2015 issue of Muscle Sport magazine. You know, it's very important to believe. If you're doing something and you're not 100% confident in what you're doing, you're going to fail. Doing something maybe not 100% correctly, but they truly believe in their mind. Knowing that you never have to ever think about how you're going to pay for this, how you're going to pay for that. Trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives, what they want to become, you know, what kind of job they want to get. Piana had a cameo appearance as the Incredible Hulk in an episode of the television series Scrubs and played an oiled up muscle man named Marcus in a 2004 episode of Malcolm in the Middle without any spoken lines. He also appeared in the 1999 episode of the Parkers titled The Boomerang Effect. He was one of the main focuses of the 2017 documentary Generation Iron 2. I get the question asked all the time to me, hey, what kind of protein shakes do you take? You go in there, full force. You don't even have that mindset that you're not going to You go in there. People don't like to think, they like to ask. They don't have enough confidence. Most people know deep down inside is, you know, eating good food is the best scenario that they make on their own. The truth of the matter is, you really have to believe what you're doing. Dangers in bodybuilding. Although many sports include hazardous play to some extent, bodybuilding has some invisible dangers associated with it. One such danger is what actually constitutes the shredded physique that people see in front of them. Some bodybuilders may use PEDs. In an attempt to get the admiration and awe of onlookers, they end up harming themselves. One such heartbreaking case was of the popular bodybuilder Rich Piana himself. As any fan of his can testify, Rich Piana was known for his huge physique. His unreal body, with biceps measuring 23.5 inches, was a result of several substances. This isn't a rumor, by the way, but was in fact confirmed by him publicly. Eventually, this overuse of substances potentially became the reason for his demise in 2017. According to reports, his autopsy found that his heart and liver were twice the size of the average person. In episode 1920 of GRE, Joe Rogan and his guest Dave Portnoy discussed this matter. Upon introducing the builder to his guest Portnoy, Rogan talked about the deceased bodybuilder. The UFC commentator introduced the late bodybuilder by briefing that he just wanted to get bigger in size even though he had stopped competing professionally. He died young. He took ungodly amounts of steroids, Rogan said as he went on to show a picture of Piana to his guest. The late bodybuilder had spoken up about his almost 30 years of steroid usage and was aware of how it could harm him. His mother was a bodybuilder, and thus, he was introduced to the sport at the age of 11. He began trying to compete when he was 15 years old, and by age 18, he was taking PEDs. The picture of Piana shot Joe Rogan and his guest, what the folk man, preposterously huge. Upon revealing the fact that Rich Piana was open about his substance usage, Dave Portnoy couldn't stop himself from getting upset. Yeah, I don't give these guys credit to be openly admitting to be on steroids, said Portnoy while criticizing the act. The two then mourned his demise, which occurred at a young age. A lot of people, you know, don't understand that my stuff is motivational for everybody. 30 years, I've been training pretty much nonstop, every day. I don't miss workouts, I don't miss meals. Don't ever! Don't ever question, don't ever, you know, I don't know, or I can't, or don't ever be negative. The morning time is, well, next to training, of course, is eating. I love to eat. Rich Piana was only 46. His demise shocked a lot of his followers back in 2017 and still continues to do so for people who have come to know about his demise in recent times. Piana, who previously won the title of Mr. California, had a large audience of millions. 
His demise was revealed by his estranged wife Sarah Piana through a Facebook post. Prior to his demise, TMZ Sport had revealed that he was placed in a medically induced coma after passing out in his Florida home. Piana was an internet celebrity who didn't usually take part in bodybuilding competitions. Although he had won a few locals, Piana largely did it for internet fame. Rogan also went on to criticize this tendency of people to do such things for the internet. In fact, Joe Rogan had previously also spoken about another social media celebrity, Brian Johnson, who is also known as the Liver King. Liver King used to advocate for a diet of raw meat and especially the consumption of raw liver daily. Basically what we're taught, we're going to graduate from high school, we're going to go to college, we're going to get a degree. You know, they get stuck in a 9 to 5 job, they're making enough money to get by, and what do they do? They just stay there. I'm going to keep doing what I do, I'm going to keep going on and on and on and on. Shit's never going to stop. In episode 1842 of the JRE, Joe Rogan, along with neuroscientist Andrew Huberman, had expressed skepticism about Johnson's claims of being a natural bodybuilder. Later on, in 2022, it was revealed that Johnson used multiple substances to jack up his physique regularly. The UFC commentator recalled his coverage of the Liver King while he said, Mostly, he was like an online famous guy for being super jacked which is like a lot of these social media influencers that becomes their businesses to become super jacked or super shredded. In the age of instant fame and a race to grab attention online, people have been seen to adopt many deceptive or purely harmful practices without paying heed to long-term consequences. Sports fans should especially be careful about becoming gullible victims of online misinformation. So let us know your thoughts about all of these things we've covered in this video in the comments down below. And that about does it for this video. See you next time.